Ah, that's right. I was going to target Fausta. She's the only one I cannot see. Fausta? Where is she? I've lost her. I've literally lost a companion. Oh, that's right. She's still stuck over here. I may have to. Ah! Desynced Ludwig accidentally in at work. Don't you dare run away from me, woman. If I can be of any help, let me know. Um, Teleme. Because I don't know that we go there in this game. You say you hail from Teleme. What can you tell me about your country? My country? They're zealots. It's almost First strange and to put it that way. The Enlightened. Even though it is true that I was born there. Teleme is vast, greener and less arid than Tynia. Numerous cities budding with towers and belfries pierce our horizons. The most magnificent among them is the capital, Montorga. The Council of Cardinals rules from there. Can we go see them? They are both our highest political and religious authority. I want to go steal these places. And they wield powerful Now magic. that we're not on the continent, we are on the continent. Sorry, we're not on the island. But that's a that lacks personality, isn't it? it sound personality truth, after me. Teleme is vastly complex and utterly beautiful. I hope one day to return. The way the sunlight dances over the church rooftops at dawn is a warmth I often miss. That does sound pretty. What brought you to... Well, how are they pronouncing it? Tynia? What are you doing in Tynia? Tynia? Your countries are at war, are they not? I had to leave my country. I was banished after an unfortunate Can you please incident. elaborate? I could have gone to Peren. It would have been less of a challenge. I did in fact travel through there before arriving in Olima, but there were too many things that reminded me of my home country, and too many people from Teleme who bore grudges because of my actions. Going to Tainir was a risky leap into the complete unknown, but it offered me the chance to have a new life. I suppose we'll find out through her side quest what she did that has so many Teleme and Telemes, Telemians? Are uh, angry at her. What do you think about Euxantis? It's a strange place. Sort of beyond our world in a way. It's funny how the Noughts are the link between every nation, including because your own. Because they're neutral. They come from this microscopic isle, battered by the winds and isolated by an enraged sea. But I suppose it does make sense, in a way. If I had been born here, I would have certainly done everything in my power to sail away and discover new horizons. Because there's nothing here? Probably. Ruins along the coast. Do you know anything about the ruins here? I haven't seen them. They're different than the ruins in our homeland. I don't know anything about the ruins in your lands. But these ruins are similar to all the ruins found in the southern parts of the continent. From the Astrian They are the marks of civilization? an ancient civilization yeah. that lived and thrived here long before us. The Astrians. In those days, they had managed to unite the entire continent under a single banner, Gosh. which seems unthinkable today. But outside of a few surviving stories that speak of their celebrated general, I must admit that I don't know much else. Concerning these ruins in particular, they seem rather vast, and they were certainly the remains of a city in their time. Scholars from the Alliance love to study the stones in the hopes of finding some lost parcel of knowledge. I think what you have to remember is that in today's society, yes, you have very distinct countries and cultures that are opposing science versus religion. But that wasn't necessarily the same in the time of the Asturians. At the time of the Asturians, the culture probably was much more similar. So it was easy to unite under one banner because you were all the same, you had the same purpose and whatnot. I'm not saying that was the case. I know nothing about the Astrians. But you, you can't make the judgment based on today's climate because it's highly unlikely that the civilization that long ago was the same as civilization today. So they could have been much more like-minded. So it'd be easier to unite the people, comparatively. I crossed paths with missionaries from Teleme on Tier Freddy. They spoke of your religion, but what can you tell me about it? You already know that we worship a god that we call the Enlightened. And that Saint Matthias, his prophet, converted us to mm -hmm. worshipping him. Yes. The Enlightened blesses us with his light, the source of all life. 
and offer some the gift of magic. I'm no expert in theology. I wasn't much of a student on the subject. I have a more instinctive approach, despite my gift. But if you are truly interested in the topic, it won't be hard to find entire books on the subject. She's very serious, isn't she? <laughs> oh, I can't go down. Her, oh, I can. Her faith. Are you a believer as well? Yes. Are you not yourself a believer, even though your divinity goes by a different name? How can one not believe when the enlightened or the god you worship blesses you with the power to defy the laws of nature? I know well that the Alliance thinks it is nothing more than a phenomenon they've yet to explain. And I'm sure that in the end, a scientific explanation will be found for everything. But I do not share their opinion. Okay. What it was like to live in an enemy nation? What was it like living in Olima when you're from Tulemi? It was difficult at first. Everyone was suspicious of me. I wasn't just a foreigner, I was an enemy. But I learned to hide my differences in public and not to talk about my origins or my beliefs. As for those who already knew, I told them why I was in their country, which reassured them. As an exile, I was seen as less dangerous. But you're right, it wasn't easy. I had to change all my habits, practically change my skin to adapt in order to survive. Sometimes, I even forgot where I came from, who I really was. I became the mask I wore. I imagine you're asking me this because you're wondering how you're going to be able to live on the continent. We have a very different, a very large difference in our situation. The Bridge Alliance and the Tulemi, people of Tulemi, they do not have accents. They do not have distinctive vocal traits. And they don't... They, they, they can look different, but they mostly don't look different from one another. The Bridge Alliance people can have more of a... Middle Eastern isn't the word I want to use, but you know, uh, West uh, Asian appearance kind of-ish to some of their things to some of their people, but a lot of them just look the same as anyone from Tulemi. Uh, at least in the first game. In the first game, a lot of the ethnicities were pretty interchangeable. So having Fausta from Tulemi seeking exile and therefore refuge in the Bridge Alliance territory, unless she says something to somebody, they're not going to inherently know that she's from Tulemi. Unless she says, oh, may you walk on the enlightened path. No one's going to know that she opposes their beliefs or espouses beliefs they don't agree in, agree with. So the only way she could ever have been ousted as an enemy, as she says, is if she's the one who ousted herself. So I don't know. I, I feel like that's on her. If you're trying to blend in, you blend in. You don't try and speak of the things that people find profane. Uh, respond in the affirmative. Tell her you don't want to forget or hide your origins. Tell her you were just kissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I had another I'm point to make. Sorry. It. I'm not ready to follow the same path as you. I couldn't deny who I am for anything in the world. Despite the hostility of many of those we meet, I won't give up my identity or my origins to please them. Tear Fradi is part of me. I can't abandon it. I understand. You were taken from your land against your will, while I had to go into exile because I'd made a mistake. I wasn't happy about leaving my country, but I had no one to blame but myself. Correct. Unlike you, you could take the easy way out and blend in, but you prefer to hold she your can't, head high. She can't, and that's the point I wanted that's to make. That's very brave. Dangerous. Perhaps even foolish, but brave. And your love for your land and your culture speaks volumes about you. As much as I love my country, I don't know if I'd be willing to take such a risk. Yeah, I was hoping that would be the case. Um, what point I was therefore going to make as an extension of my point about Fausta is that Vridan can't blend in the way that Fausta does. Two reasons. One, she has a heavy 
Dear Freudian accent. She can't magically get rid of that. It is strong. So she is always going to be identified as a Tiafrodian no matter what she can do with her appearance. You can't fix that. And on the note of appearance, she has the um, mark of her people. Not everyone from Tiafrodi has the mark, and I can't remember the symbolism behind the mark. But you can't get rid of it. It's part of her face and her neck. It's not going away. So it's very clear and easy to see that she is a Tiafrodian. She doesn't have the same luxury that Fausta has of blending in, even if Freedom wanted to. It's literally something she cannot do. I must leave you. See you later. So it's, it's interesting that they have similar yet very distinctive paths and they absolutely cannot proceed um, along the same path as each other. Now, I believe I would have a room upstairs. Yes, in here. And I have my stash. Oh, look, guys. Single beds. We're all sleeping in the same room. This one looks like, like it's my bed right in the middle. Gross. Um, I'll take the one. Probably this one. It's nice and dank and dingy in the corner, far away from the light source. I like it. But it's farther from the door, unlike this one. Anywho, we should leave. I'm sure there's probably loot to be had here, but I just... Loot isn't very interesting in this game at the moment. I can't do anything with it, so it's not very fun to collect it. Now! Is it just me or did the weather get more miserable since we were last out here? We are going to Market Square, which means I absolutely should not have taken this exit. Back in. Take the other exit. Out of my way, ladies. I swear to all that's holy. I will cut you down if you get in my way. Oh, wait, except I can't because I can't just whip out my blade whenever I wish. Back along this path that we started down earlier. Do you think it's a merchant? No, there's no one there. Oh, this only leads up. Oh, well, hopefully it, it loops back around and I can go down. Mm. Rock, like the structure of this place is pretty cool. I do like it. Which of you back there is making the noise, or is that my feet? Good grief. Hmm, there's another one of those animals. Ambiguously dripping water and uh, blood into the harbour. Okay, we're at the Ink Mistress, Elvida. You may get your new tattoo. Yeah, I'll be finished in a sec. I'm just checking out your place. Okay, I've checked it out. It's not really large. Hello. Welcome to my workshop. I'm the Ink Mistress, and before you ask, no, I don't tattoo foreigners. Fine. Hello, Mistress. I'm no foreigner, and the council sent me. Elvida? Everyone's talking about you. Your father must be so proud. Sailing to our island in a skiff. I don't think I've ever recorded such a feat in ink. It will be an honour to mark you. Captain. Oh, she has the same problem as Thank you. Um, Thurkin. Now come over here oh, and sit down. Paper appearing in her hand. I hope friends are patient. This is going to take a while. You're not wrong. It's not the fastest thing in the world. There. Now everyone can take one look at you, and they'll know who you are and what you've I can't see a thing, so I'll have to take wait till we're in better light. for the next few days. The scars will be sore. I know. I remember the oh last God, time I was here. Oh God, it's over a cheek. Thank you, Christ. mistress. Goodbye. I liked when it was just under her chin. It was, it was nice. Okay, um, Elvida, we have to get outside because I cannot see you for the life of me. Savages and traitors to their race. Oh, hello. We'll I'm trying to write notes here. True place. Well, that's rude. I appreciate that so. Okay, not who I oh guns. 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 Okay. Get out of the throat. Now I'm going to have to buy Why do I keep falling down? My armor is broken. Yeah, well, such is life. Their abilities never change. Is everyone 
one all right. That was a very boring combat. I didn't get to watch Sybil. What is this slot now? Drop your weapons. You're under arrest. For what? Isn't this a North City? Who rules the city? Clearly not the uh, Council of Admirals. Can I help you? Ugly looking man. Under arrest? For defending ourselves? So you say. A witness came to tell us about a fight. We ran over and saw you kill those visitors. Just follow us, you lot, and don't make a fuss. Wait, officer. This group is my responsibility. I've given my word as captain. Okay, I can see her cheeks now. They are my guests. In Indeed. That's unfortunate. You should choose your friends more carefully. Round them all up. Is Blacksmith guy going to speak up for me? Our laws, officer? You can only arrest the person who is responsible. Her guests are free. These people have committed a serious crime. They murdered these visitors and... This may be a tragedy, but it doesn't change our laws. Only the captain will pay for the crime if it is proven. All right then. Take the captain. As for you lot, I hope you realize what you've done. Yeah, it's good self-defense prick. Where are you taking her? She'll be held in the harbor master's office while she awaits her trial. I'll make sure you are able to speak with her if you wish. We should go tell the others what happened. Is this standby dude just not gonna say anything? News travels quickly around here. We were attacked as we left the workshop with Alvida. A group of armed alliance men attacked us and we were forced to defend ourselves. They all died. And the guards who arrived just seconds later accused us of murdering them. They wanted to throw us into prison again. The master of the shipyard stepped in and since we are Alvida's guests, she was the only one of us arrested. The Alliance doesn't seem to want to leave you in peace. A woman we met after our meeting with the Admirals warned us. She told us there was an Alliance emissary in Uxantis, and that they might cause us serious problems. We can't just stand by and let Alvida rot in jail. I already organized one jailbreak. Why not another? It's not against... We'd better go talk to her before we yeah, do any such Yeah, it's not the Fausta's right. <sighs> Can't this is an say, island, but... so we won't be able to escape as easily as we did in Tynir. Alvida knows far better than we do how things I work just around here. Don't break her out of an old prison, is what I can say. Just we don't. Don't anger the north. The, the, you spoke of, the one who warned us. She undoubtedly knows more than ah, she told us. Okay. Since you don't seem too keen on my idea of an escape plan, we could at least try to find some witnesses who saw what happened. Yes, true. Well. <sighs> Let's take Lidwood back because I still refuse to take Nilan. God damn it, what's X? Uh, let's just go out. We could go and talk to the ink mistress. We were practically on her doorstep, so she must have seen something. She doesn't have any windows. They're above the door. She didn't see shit. Okay, you need some skills. You have all yours. Let's improve your knockdown. Sacrifice portion of your life to get... Nope. So it increases the damage dealt when life drops below the foam. Yeah! Go for it. I have no idea why that's an offshoot of this. That makes literally no sense. Some of these just... These small bits don't connect to the large bit. I don't get it. Attributes. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many times must this happen? Why do you keep resetting their fucking points? God, I don't know. Were you strength? I don't remember. Well, too fucking bad. You're strength now, even if you weren't. Haha. <laughs> too bad. Great. So glad we had that chat. What do we pick up? Huh? Again, another rifle we can't use. Oh, I'm so glad I'm lying on the ground. I'm so attractive. Okay, well, that was useless. Um, what else have we got? I have some braces. They're no different. An outfit. I don't want to use that at all. Um, nope. 
Uh, Fausta, is this one better than what you're wearing? It's the exact same. Cool, great. Well, that was an easy uh, level up. Okay, we'll start with the ink mistress, but I'm gonna go speak to old mate there. He saw a lot. She wouldn't have seen a thing. She doesn't have any windows in that direction. What do you want? I told you already. I don't tattoo foreigners. Why are you so freaking hostile? We're looking for witnesses who saw the fight that took place in front of your workshop. You're not going to kill me too, are you? Jesus! I didn't see <laughs> what anything. What is wrong with people? After I finished Alveda's tattoo, I started cleaning my tools. I heard a commotion outside, but I didn't go out there. I'm not a guard, I'm an artist. You sound very defensive. Please don't hurt me. Oh my god. I reassure her, but Jesus, I don't like her attitude. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to help our friend Alvida, who's been arrested. Really? Since the attack, everyone's been saying that I... the foreigners on the island are just there to cause chaos and to rob and kill us. Rest assured, it that literally is not our aim. just happened. Yet suddenly, anyway, word on the island is. I heard noises, yes, but I didn't see anything. I didn't go outside. And you don't have any what windows. What kind of noise? What exactly do you remember? <sighs> Let me think. I remember the door closing. I was picking up my tools when I heard someone shouting. Just after that, I could hear fighting. Then things calmed down and I heard the guard arresting someone. You, most likely. Do you remember what was shouted? I didn't hear everything. I was too busy trying to write notes. It wasn't very clear. I wasn't really paying I attention. I think I heard the words savage and traitor. Yeah, I heard those. And then something about a place. They did indeed insult us before attacking us. I wasn't paying us. attention. And since you heard the sounds of fighting after that first sentence, it contradicts the testimony that we attacked those people for no reason. True. That is true. Testify, please. I know it's a lot to ask. But I need you to repeat what you just told us in front of the council. Olvida shouldn't have to pay for the misdeeds of the foreigners who wanted to settle their score with us. <sighs> All right. I'll testify if you call me as a witness. I admire Alvida. She doesn't deserve this. Damn straight she doesn't. Bye, ma'am. Hopefully I won't be back. Now come here, you. I will wrangle you with my own two fists, Silvio the Carpenter. Hello. Looking to buy furniture? Do I look hey, like I'm buying I furniture right you. now? You're the captain's friends. The ones who were attacked earlier. Two seconds ago. These people have memory issues. Were you there during the attack? Could you tell us exactly what you saw? Yes. I'm at my workbench from sun up to sun down. Well, it's sundown, sundown honey, and, and you're still here. on my doorstep. So I saw everything. I heard those foreigners from the Alliance hurling insults, and I saw them attack. All you did was defend yourself. Then the guard came, followed by the master of the shipyard. And they took the captain away. I'm sorry about what happened to you. That's wonderful. How fortunate. With your testimony, we'll have no trouble getting Elvida out of jail. Yeah, unfortunately, I wouldn't be so Why? sure about that. How so? Because they're under the fist I of the... I don't have a very good oh. reputation. I thought it was about no the... No one on the council will Bridge listen to lady, me. But no. And besides... I don't think Captain Alvida will let me take the stand to defend her. I don't think she, she gets a choice. She despises me more than anyone even else. Even better! Hell, that's even better! Someone who despises you, or you despise, is standing up in your behalf. That has way more weight. Except for the fact that you see each other with a reputation, so that kind of ruins that theory. Um, I would like to know why. What do you mean? I don't like to stir up the past, but you should know. But I used to be a ship. I mean, understandable. Carpenter, I was respected. Ships. Yeah. My work was highly praised until the accident. It oh, was did her mother die accident. in an accident? Since then, I haven't been allowed to touch a ship. I had to learn a new trade. Was that and your here responsibility? I am in this shabby workshop, tinkering with chairs. Was there a storm? My testimony would be worthless. I understand, but we may have no choice but to call on you. If you do, I'll be happy to Thanks, testify man. to what I saw. But think hard before you call on me. 
My word could do you more harm than good. No. Leave I think the work. more the merrier. Good boy. Everybody's opinion counts. We should try to find out more about what this man did before we decide whether or not to use his testimony. Alvida will surely know. Yeah, well, we haven't seen Alvida just yet. Did you see anything, ma'am? I don't think this so. This breeze is invigorating, don't you think? We're in the middle of buildings. So there is no breeze. Okay, it's saying there's still something or someone. But where? The fishmonger. The fishmonger is miles away. But okay. Oh, god damn it, you're up there. Oh, fishmonger. Oh, actually, you actually have a pretty good you have a pretty good vantage point. No, thank you. Hello? Hi. Feel like a lovely piece of flounder? Absolutely not. Caught just this morning. No, I'm not big on fish. Did you see the tuck not big enough, place though. in front of the ink mistress's shop? No, I was in the back. I only saw the tail end ah, of the fight. She's useless. I saw the guards show up, followed by the master of the shipyard. But the Alliance men were already dead. You killed them all. Now, if you don't want any fish, I'd like to get back to work. It's very rude. Foreigners' affairs don't concern me. Oh, just God, you will up. suck. We found one witness who only overheard something and another one that no one will believe. Mm -hmm. But it's a first step towards freeing our valiant captain from her mm. cell. You are most correct. So, where... Hold on. What do I have as options? Go and see Alvida. Find the man who falsely accused you. The master of the shipyard told you there is a witness who claims to have seen the whole thing reported. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Can we um, change follow quest? There we go. Where's he? Show map. Uh, at the harbor office. Oh, well, that's going to be where uh, Alvida is anyway, and all conveniently really close to me. Okay, I'll see if I can exit this building. Otherwise, I'll have to do the big darn loop. So let's go this way. Yeah, here we go. Oh, God. I don't know if it's going to let me go that way, but I don't think I want to do anyway. It's a mite terrifying. Hello? Vendor? Exantis Forge. Looking for a sword? Or how about some reinforced armor? I have so oh, much I money, everything I don't need. have a use for. So can you give me something way cooler? Uh, the answer is no, but that looks cool. But I don't need a seaman's peacoat. That looks cool as well. How do I compare it to my companions? See, that's the problem with buying things. I can't compare and contrast. I mean, it's comparing to me, I guess. But I'm not asking about me. I'm asking about my compatriots, even though I don't want to touch any of their armor. Except maybe Faustus. I'm still looking at those colors. Green and blue should not be seen without something in between, Fausta. Did nobody tell you the basics of color theory? Uh, but, uh, I don't know. What you doing there, Butch? What you doing there, Butch? Stop! Access to this area is strictly yeah, forbidden. Yeah, yeah. Move along. I thought as much, but I also thought I would try. But all we could do was arrest the knot who was vouching for the it foreigners who murdered your man. Was the emissary the for now? I find your laws unjust. The poor captain obviously didn't know. Wow, who she so this was is the lady trying to kill us. But I shall seek justice from your council, and I'll be in charge of the prosecution. And thanks to our witness, I'll make sure that only the true culprits. Those savage brutes are the ones who pay for their crime. In blood. I don't know if the knots work that way, dear. 